Welcome back to Drupal Academy. In today's video, we are going to explore the concept of Temp Store in a Drupal. Understanding of Temp Store is crucial for developers. Temp Store, it is a short form for temporary storage, is a vital part of Drupal ecosystem. It serves as a storage mechanism for temporary data that needs to persist across multiple page requests. Think of it as a way to store data temporarily such as user input or the session information. Time store plays a crucial role in Drupal because it allows developers to maintain data between different page requests. This is especially valuable for complex web applications and e-commerce sites where user data must be written across multiple steps in a process. Now we will discuss the usage of the time store. So first is for the e-commerce websites. Developers can use the time store to store and retrieve data in a various way. For instance, it can be used to maintain shopping cart data during a user session on an e-commerce website. Second example is for the multi-step forms. When user fills out long forms over several pages, time store can temporarily store their progress Ensure they don't lose data if they leave the form midway. Third usage is time store might be used to store work in progress that is later saved permanently. Now let's take a quick look at a simple code example to demonstrate how time store works in a Drupal. So for this example, I have the one employee form, this is normal form, and I have another employee form. That is the Ajax form. Now I will show you the how to store the data in a time store. First, I will go to the my core editor and I am in the employee form, which is this is a normal employee form. And inside this form, on the load of this form, I will store some uh, temporary data. So we will write the code for that here. temporary storage first we will declare the one variable time store equal to drupal global service and load the time store dot private service which is used to store the data time store dot private after that inside the get function mention the your module name so my module name is the employee so i will mention the it as employee and semicolon next now we will set the variable in say, into the time store for that time store to set data we need to use the set function first we need to create the one key so that is my key and after that assign the value which value you want to set into the time store so i want to store the drupal academy and save it now we have set the drupal academy as a value into this my key and on the next form that is this is the ajax form on this form we will get this value and uh, we will show that value inside the first name field so for that syntax x just copy it go to the another form so this is my another employee ajax form inside the build function i will paste it here this line will be the same just we need to change this from set to get to get the value from the key assign it to the one variable data equal to now we will show this data inside the this employee first name field so hash default value as a data dollar data and save the file 
now here you can see right now this is the empty field so on the first load of this form that value will get stored inside the this my key using the set function and when i load the second form it display in this first name field so first refresh this form so on the refresh of this the va the value is stored inside the temp store now we will refresh this form to get the value here you can see we are getting the value drupal academy which is set in the temp store on this form and, uh, and another form it is accessible same way we will change that value to different value just to change it to the drupal save it and again refresh it Again, now refresh the another form so here you can see the value is change now we will see how to delete that value to delete the temp store value we just need to write this line temp store delete and the key name so it will delete the value now I will refresh this form so that it will delete that temp store value and on refresh of this it will show the empty because that value is deleted now. Now that we know how to set up temp store let's discuss some best practices when working with it. So first is the cleanup after use. Always delete data from temp store once you are done with it to avoid the unnecessary data buildup. Second is the use write storage. Drupal provides two types of temp store. First is a private and second is the share. Choose the appropriate one based on your use case. Private temp store data is specific to the user session while share temp store data is accessible across multiple user session. Security consideration is be cautious about what you store in a temp store as it is accessible during a user session. Avoid storing sensitive data or anything that should not be exposed. That's it from this video on understanding and using the temp store in a Drupal. It is fantastic way to handle the temporary data and improving user experience in a Drupal application. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Drupal and web development tutorials. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.